Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and this is part three of a series that I've been doing retelling the story of our trip to Texas. I took several of my behind the scenes girls to Texas and we were able to stay in a beautiful house. That was the first video. The second video was all about Round Top, the antique show, and then the third one is gonna be the trip to Magnolia. First of all, we hit up Magnolia Table. I really want this video to be a lot of kind of insider tips that I learned, so I'm gonna pass these on to you, but we went to get reservations about 28 days in advance online. Don't do that, you wanna do it at 30 days in advance. So there's always 30 days worth of, of upcoming days that you can reserve for. But each day that they put the next one up, they're filled in six to 12 hours. So mark your calendar if you want reservations. And I would get reservations just so you can get in right away and then get on down the street for the silos. So we did not do that. That was a rookie move. And we, we had to do a walk-in reservation is what they call it. It took 45 minutes to get in, which is totally normal. I mean, if I go to Red Robin or something, it's gonna be a 45 minute wait for me in my town but I would have liked to have that 45 minutes to go elsewhere in town. Okay, I was shocked at the prices on the menu. They are clearly keeping these prices low for people. So you could get a really amazing breakfast burrito for I think 450. So prices are amazing, service was amazing. They let us all of course sit at a huge table. It's community seating. They split our check, no big deal. Okay, top foods you wanna try, you gotta try the lavender donut holes, and you wanna try the lavender lattes. And of course, I loved the breakfast tacos. Yeah, we made it to, <laughs> we made it to Magnolia Table. It really does exist in the middle of, not a fancy town. Their stuff was noticeably more beautiful than there were other things. We're gonna go get our reservation. I just really appreciate the European direction they went. And then these chairs and these tables. Just very inspiring. Lots and lots and lots of seating. Oh, what's back here? Coffee, pastries, and juice. So then there's a gift shop on the back end, and there's beautiful outdoor seating and things, but the gift shop is really cute. I got some dog biscuits there, I got some of the wooden recipe cards, and you can get things to go like the lavender donut holes. already ordered some, some food and my recommendation is you must try the lavender donut holes. Okay, so once that was done, we jumped in the car and headed, I don't know, 10 minutes away down to the silos. And wow, 
there is a lot going on there and I'm sure they continue to plan more things for this area but it really has kind of this Disneyland for adult feel and they also really nailed the park feel so if you were a local you would totally take your kids down there for a picnic lunch and bring your dog and that was super sweet to see so, so okay so here's some of the things you're gonna see when you go there there's an amazing gift store there's the bakery there's the faux grass area there's great places to sit and eat there's gardens and the greenhouse there's the magnolia press the whole coffee shop area there are food trucks and a ballpark and a church that they renovated and then moved onto the property. I don't know if people do weddings there or what, but then there's sort of this little village area where there's little cottages and they have artisans selling their things in the little houses. There's the home store, which kind of feels like a posh Ikea. So rooms set up to kind of tour, but it is an open concept. Anyway, I'm trying to like give you a feel for what that, that building's like. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you kick back and watch, and I'll stop talking. I was warned that Waco was not a very nice looking town for how, I mean, look at this. We've got not a whole lot of, and maybe, I mean, we're not in a, this is just a sampling, but I was told that the fixer upper houses are noticeably, noticeably better than a normal house here. All right, apparently we made it. Decorating Mecca. Oh, look. Okay, we'll be out. And I just have to show you the cute little spots to eat. They've just done a really nice job of little pockets, little beautiful spaces for people to rest. And there's birds in the trees and people have their dogs. Really sweet. I think I'm most excited about the seed and supply store. We love gardening at our house. I've got some girls that I could shop for here. Little raised flower beds. There's all these extra little sheds and greenhouse buildings. There's just a lot to see. I mean, I don't think anything's for sale in here. It's just a little experience. It's not overcrowded or anything. It's just these, a lot of little peaceful pockets they've set up and people are just hanging out with their families. Oh. 
More sweet food trucks. How cute is that? This is the cutest food truck you've ever seen. And then, I love the brick behind, or I don't know what you call that. Really sweet backdrop. Good call, Nat. Silo's Baking Company. And then what's this? Oh, Magnolia Table. I just didn't realize all this stuff. There's Magnolia Press. I mean, they just keep developing. They have their own ballpark and people are playing. <laughs> Little ballpark. Um, and they have a church. I don't know if they do weddings. I, I didn't know about this. What a beautiful idea. Then past the church are these, they, I think they call them the little shops. And they're just little houses. Um, we're gonna go check them out. So now I'm in Magnolia Home, which is more of the furniture. And they actually have, you know, little rooms to set up. So this is fun. It just doesn't quit. That is a rug that has been <laughs> disassembled and these letters put in. How beautiful is that? And the last two things that I wanna tell you about, you wanna leave yourself some time in your day to swing by the place called Cedar Chest Antique Mall and finish up with dinner at Foxy's, which is on the back side of this antique mall. Okay, I have to tell you about this little secret. It's Cedar Chest Antique Mall. It's in McGregor. So you're going to drive, oh, 15 miles from the silos. And this is where Joanna Gaines likes to shop. And you, you recognize it from some of her videos. It just goes and goes and goes. I would give yourself oh, at least two hours. Yeah, a solid two hours in here. Just great variety, great prices. And I'll show you one more thing. And when you're done at the cedar chest, swing in here at the back of the building for a really fun, a really fun day. So homemade bread, sandwiches. Now, this is what really surprised me about the silos in Magnolia. I knew it was gonna be awesome. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the footage. I knew it was gonna be beautiful. What I wasn't prepared for was sort of the spirit of the place. And I have another level of respect for the Gaineses because they're really trying to change the business industry side of things. So the employee morale at that place was noticeably top notch and the customer service was off the charts they were giving away things they were hanging out with 
the customers and chatting with them. I bought these boxes. I bought some other things, but I wanted to show you these metal boxes that I bought. And I went up to pay for them and there's a long there was a long line behind me, but the gal at the cash register said, "Oh, this one's a little bit scratched. Let's see if we can get you a better one." So she had I don't know, three different people running around, trying to pull things off shelves, checking in the back room, comparing them, trying to get me the best one. And I didn't even ask for that. So I was, I was really impressed with that. And it made me just think, you know what? I, I want to be more like that in the interior design industry. Like raise the bar, like build other people up and change what the status quo is for business. All right, so I hope you got some good advice out of that. If not, I'm just gonna have to go back and get you some more information. Next week, I'm gonna be sharing my newly designed craft closet. I wasn't going to, I had shared it in my behind the scenes group and then I had so much feedback from my viewers on Instagram and they wanted to see more of it. So we're, I'll show it to you. So that's coming up next week and Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.